This video, I will show how I automatically lower the level of background noise in the free version of DaVinci Resolve 20, which is otherwise known as audio ducking. So the first thing that I will do is go down and click on the Edit tab, and then up to the audio and change the volume to 12 so it's easier to hear. Now I will go down and look for a place to cut the video that has lots of background noise so I can show how audio ducking works. Then I'll go down and click on File Explorer so I can drag my two audio clips into the project. And here is what it will sound like before I enable the ducker. This is audio for demonstration purposes. Here is some more audio to demonstrate with. The background noise makes it hard to hear the voice over so this is what audio ducking is meant to solve. So I will go down and click on the Audio 2 track, then up and over to click on the Ducker toggle to enable it. Now I need to specify which audio track that I want to look ahead to automatically lower the volume on the track with the background audio, so I will choose Audio 1 as my source. Then I'll go down and press the spacebar to hear how that sounds. This is audio for demonstration purposes. Here is some more audio to demonstrate with. And it's not ducking the Audio 2 track enough, so I'll go back up and adjust the duck level all the way up to 18. Then I'll go back down and play everything again to listen how it sounds. This is audio for demonstration purposes. Here is some more audio to demonstrate with. That sounds good to me, so next I want to see how it will sound in between voiceover clips, so I'll space them out a bit and press play again to listen. This is audio for demonstration purposes. Here is some more audio to demonstrate with. Now I don't like how the audio spikes up when I have the two clips close together, so I'll go down and click on the audio 2 track again, and then up to click on advanced so I can adjust the look ahead setting all the way up. Then I'll go back down and press play to listen again. This is audio for demonstration purposes. Here is some more audio to demonstrate with. Now I'll space the two voiceover clips out about a second apart to see if that 500 setting for the look ahead is in milliseconds as I suspect. This is audio for demonstration purposes. Here is some more audio to demonstrate with. The strike match seems to be at full volume now, so I'm assuming the advanced settings are all in milliseconds, and if I'm wrong, please let everyone know in the comments. Also feel free to explain what the other settings are as I have not used them yet. Hopefully this video has helped and feel free to ask any questions that you still may have in the comments. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more quick and on point videos.